sport fishing. We just got built right now. I'm fishing real light gear. This is like my calico bass gear. Got a fluga reel filled with a 14 pound test Cajun red line. Ugly stick tiger light rod. This is our inshore series rod, the cork tape on it. And uh, we're fishing this cow patty over here on the starboard side. And we're sliding up toward our stern. We got about three, four fish going right now. Now I'm fishing a fly line bait with the eagle claw hook. It's a sardine. This fish is just taking line. These aren't really big fish, so I'm fishing the lighter line. And when you're fishing offshore like this, we're in water, it's a couple thousand feet deep. You don't have to worry about getting cut off on the bottom. Just trying to keep the fish away from the kelp because I won't be able to really muster them out of there. Okay, you got one line inside here. Here he is. Just got to land back, land back. Okay, we got a couple lines on here, so I'm going to try to bring them up fast here. Nice little yellow. Oh, he doesn't like the boat. Doesn't like the boat. That's it. All right. All right. Nice gap. This is a hook I'm using. This is a pin hook made by Eagle Claw, red color hook. This is why you have to keep the tension on there all the time. That hook, even though it looks like it's in there well, it's barely hooked in the jaw. But because we were able to keep pressure on it, we kept that hook in the fish really good. Cajun red line, and just really a light outfit. Ugly stick, tiger, light rod, fluger reel, 14 pound test line. You know, when the fish was up to color like that, most people would go ahead and tighten down the drags. That's when you can lose a lot of fish. You gotta believe in your equipment. I knew this was a good, strong line. I knew the rod would do the job, but just let the gear do its job, and the deckhand did a great job. We stuck the fish right up here by the head. Nice fish. Well, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more exciting action for the Samurai offshore fishing for Yellowtail.